All right, guys, welcome back. Before we even get started about what this video is about, I want to go ahead and do a disclaimer right now. I know you're going to see me chewing gum. I'm still on the Nicorette gum because I quit smoking like eight months ago and I just can't stop. And I've so far shot this video twice now because I messed it up the first time. So I had to chew another piece of gum. So bear with me. So anyhow, listen, I, I don't know if you guys seen the last video I did. The last video I did was about um, live streaming with your phone, basically taking the audio from a mixing board and sending it out and then do it right, going right directly into the input of your phone and the adapters you need with that and stuff. And, but that was for live streaming. So I've had a lot of people saying, hey, look, I want to do this, but I don't want to live stream. I actually just want to record video right into my phone. I don't, I don't need it for live streaming. The first question was for live streaming. The second question is now for the video for the phone. Well, Android, the video cameras on the Androids don't just do that for you. You have to actually download a, 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 a third party video app. So yeah, I found a really good one. It's free. It's called uh, Open Camera. You can find it on the App Store. Just I'll actually start recording my screen right now. So uh, you just go to the App Store. So open the App Store up and then type in Open uh, Camera. So kind of like open source because it's free. And uh, I already have it installed. So all I'm going to do is click Open and it'll open that camera up. Before you get the camera going, you're going to need, let me go score over the cables with you again in case you're new and you haven't actually seen the live streaming video, which I'll have that in a link too, because it's kind of the same idea as just live streaming to Facebook instead of, um, you know, uh, hooking it to your phone. And, with, and so this, this is going to give you a, a way better audio. It's going to give you audio from right out of your mixing board, you know, with the effects and all that kind of stuff, a nice clean audio that you see a lot of these, these bigger YouTubers and live streamers use that will come right out of the mixing board right into your phone and you can record into that but let me so let me just back up here a little bit first off if you have an iPhone or a Android which I have a OnePlus um, the, the your microphone I mean input you know for your uh, for your earbuds right here these are actually a um, let me go over here my camera too so these are a, see the three rings on the earbuds? That's called TRRS. So um, what you need to get in order to make it with, with a mixing board, because you need, basically need two inputs. So you get my mixer back in focus here. And then, so that's a TRRS, the three, the three rings on that. And what you need to do is convert that to a two ring T R S. So the T R uh, the T R R S has the three rings. The T R S has the two rings. All right. So this is your phone, and you need to take that down to a um, T R S. So uh, this is a, a little twelve dollar adapter. It takes it from the T R R S, which is the three rings, and then and then lets you plug in a T R S, which is a uh, which is the input right here. So and then what you need is you basically need a cable like this again, and I'll have this in the link in the description like on the last video. So this is a, a TRS um, cable, and then it goes to a uh, it goes to quarter inch. Well, mine goes to RCA, but you really want it to go to quarter inch. But uh, and the link I'll have in the description takes you from a TRS to quarter inch. And then what we're going to do is you can go to your mixing board, and this is any mixing board. I have a, a little Mackie USB mixer, and there's a whole other video I can do on hooking a USB right to your phone. That'll work too as well. But um, I, have a, I have a little Mackie um, a USB mixer. This isn't the mixer that we use to play live. This is the mixer that we use for acoustic gigs, but most people have small mixers like this. So um, basically what it is, you have your, your, your main outs. Um, this is uh, for XLR main outs, and then you have your quarter inch main outs. We're going to be using the quarter inch, so if uh, your mixer uh, doesn't have quarter inch, then you'll have to get a conversion uh, or go, go from TRS to uh, XLR. But most mixers usually have the quarter inch and the XLR or just a quarter inch. So we're going to be using just a quarter inch. So you want, you want the main outs, and I know I'm kind of going over this. Um, for people who know what the main outs are, they'd be like, dude, why do you keep saying that over and over again? Because I have a lot of people in the comments who are trying to go out the effects sends and the headphone jack. If that headphone jack would work, but you want to go out the main outs. 
Then you take your two quarter inches, plug them in your main outs. All right. And then what's really important when you like on this mixture, my, my gains right here, um, these are your mic preamp gains. So your mic preamp gains are what's really going to drive that signal um, in to your phone. We're going to get to that in a second because you want to watch that signal so it doesn't go over the little yellow line and we'll get that when we get back to the phone. And then, uh, so yeah, so you're going to watch these gains. I, you just turn them down to like maybe, uh, what, what is that, like 11 o'clock or 10 o'clock and you're probably be going to be good there. Um, and then coming out, my, my, my headphones right now, this is my headphone out. This is for me to hear myself. I have my uh, a little headphone adapter plugged into my headphones and I have my earbuds in there. You can use headphones. Now one thing you don't want to do is you don't want to, when you're doing this kind of thing, you don't want to come out of your mixer into big speakers and have them blurring through your microphone because otherwise you're going to get a weird little audio loop. So whatever goes in your mixer, you don't want to have speakers out in your room to hear yourself. You want to use headphones or in-ears because if you're using um, you know, main speakers, you're going to have the room noise and all of the, you're going to have a weird loop because you're going to be hearing the audio from the speakers through your microphone back through the mixing board into your camera. So. So no speakers, you can go like Alicia's vocal mic's here, I'm going to be singing through that, and my acoustic is here. And then, you know, you can plug it in whatever else you want, but no speakers, you got to use headphones for this to really sound good. All right, so now we're going to go over to our phone. And on my phone, which is the, let me go back over here, on my phone, which is the Android, I need this little adapter that came with my phone, which is a U, uh, USB-C, and they should have came with your phone. If not, I'll leave a link in the description for the same thing. It's USB-C 3 to TRRS, which that's only way a phone's gonna work. If you have a headphone jack in your phone, don't worry about it, you already have the TRRS sticking in your phone. So my, my phone requires this, so I'm gonna plug this into here. Now we're going to take the cable that we uh, just convert. Oh, we're going to take, get our little conversion cable first. Okay, so this is our conversion cable, a little $12 conversion cable that converts it from a TRRS, which goes into your phone, to a TRS, which goes to the mixer. We're going to take that. We're going to plug it into the headphone jack of the phone, regardless if you need an adapter or not. Like the iPhone, when I get into that, it doesn't need an adapter. We'll plug it right into the phone. So... All right, so I got my TRRS adapter plugged in. Now I have TRS coming out of here and I can plug the mixing board right into that. So now my mixing board is coming out of the main outs through this cord into my phone, all right? Now we gotta go back to this phone setting. So we have the open camera from the Android store and we are going to over to the settings, which is the settings is this little wheel icon at the top because we want to we want to tell the, the camera to be using the audio from an external source. So we're going to go to settings. Now there's a bunch of cool settings in here for uh, for camera options, you know, like face detection and that kind of stuff and ISO. We're not going to do that. We're only going to worry about audio. You can look up uh, just set everything on manual or whatever you want as far as that goes. So there's tons of tutorials that shows you about ISO and that kind of stuff. But we're going to scroll down till we get to video settings. I'm going to click on video settings. I'm going to scroll down the video settings all the way down until we get to audio recording. If that audio recording is off, which it shouldn't be, just turn it on so it's green. I'm going to leave mine on. And then here's the important part. We want to go to audio source. This is what the regular uh, Android uh, video cameras or iPhone video cameras don't have. Audio source, we're going to go to external microphone. Boom. Now it's telling us that there's an external microphone. But you want to be able to see your audio on the front of your phone. So we're going to, we're going to go back out of the uh, video settings and then we're going to scroll up to camera preview and then we're going to scroll down on camera preview and there's a couple things that you want. Um, one thing, you, you know, it, 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 I usually do, this is just uh, on the show, on the show uh, grid, I usually leave that on, on three times three. That would give you a nice square grid and it just kind of make, it gets you lined up easier. And I'll kind of explain that to you too as an actual added bonus. But right here um, where it says uh, show audio level meter on the front, you want to click on that and you want to have that displaying. 
All right, so now when we go back here and go back to the front of the camera, as soon as I start recording, hey, 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 see the audio meeting, meteor is right there. We don't have the, we don't have anything adjusted, but you can see the audio coming in. If I grab Alicia's mic, hey, 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 so you can see the audio meeting come through the board and through Alicia's mic. All right, so now our, our uh, phone is set up with the, uh, with the audio in there coming right directly from the mixing board, we're going to give it a little test drive. We're going to put our ears in so we can hear, we can kind of monitor how it sounds, make sure we don't have too much reverb because right now I'm not hearing anything from the phone. All right, we're going to get a little clamp over here. I got this little cheap little clamp that goes on any tripod. It's a little uh, phone clamp. You can give, actually, I got this at a dollar store, the phone clamp. So it just clamps your phone in like this. So I'm going to turn this around. Put up here so I can see myself. One thing that's weird about seeing yourself though, and I'm sure there's a setting in this app, but I'm going to leave that up to you guys to figure out, is, uh, is I'm backwards. It's a mirror image. So even though I'm a right-handed guitar player, it's going to look like I'm a left-handed guitar player. So I'm sure there's a function in there, but just look up how to change it so it's, not a long, so it's no longer a mirrored image. So now we're just going to adjust this. Okay, you can go in there and set up the ISO and all that kind of stuff, which is a really cool camera app. I haven't played with that right now. I'm only concerned about getting your guys' audio to sound good. You can play with the camera settings and make yourself look pretty as much as you want. Sorry, my camera just went dark. I had to shut a light off because that was too blown out. So I'm gonna grab my acoustic. Now, um, you are going to hear some buzzing because my, my guitar has a short in the cord. So, sorry about the buzzing. Let's go over here and start recording my phone. All right, so we are recording. Hey, hey, check. I'm gonna put my in-ears in. Remember, you do not want to have speakers on because you're gonna get a weird little feedback loop going on. So I'm gonna plug my in-ears in, or headphones, whichever you prefer. These little in-ears right here are amazing. They're eight driver ear, um, in ears and there were 50 bucks and you get a little extension to go further so if you hear that buzzing that if you hear that buzzing okay so now we're going to switch the audio to the phone right now so the phone what you hear is actually coming from the mixing board is right there i'm going to turn the if i hit mute on my guitar that buzzing went away it's because my my uh, cord is bad. But you can hear the reverb, check, 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 one, two. All right, so I'm gonna bring the buzzing back by unmuting my guitar. So I'm not gonna really get a mix. You can kind of play around this, make sure your mix is good in your phone. Sorry about the camera is overexposed, but we're not worried about that, we're worried about audio. So, all right, so let me grab a pick. All right, so again, same song as last video. Here we go, ready? Check, 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 check. Oh, okay, so yeah, what's nice about this mixer is if you go, and they actually can hook a foot pedal up to it too, I believe, but you can go over here and hit uh, mute effects. And I believe you can hook a foot pedal up to that. That way if you're talking to the audience, you can be like, hey guys, and just use a foot pedal. And right here, it says foot switch. You get one of those little on and off switches. Um, you know, look them up on the guitar center or whatever. And you can plug a foot pedal in there and that'll actually turn this off. Or you can just manually hit the switch. The mute effects. Check, check, check. And it's back so you can go back to singing. Every rose has its dawn. All right, guys. So uh, I checked up the audio. Oh, yeah, it sounds great. I mean, for, you know, I mean, I'm an amazing, amazing singer. Obviously, that's, you know, so it's my gift. No, I'm joking. 
Um, anyhow, but yeah, the audio sounds great. It sounds perfectly good to use. But again, again, the buzzing was not from the mixer. The buzzing was from my bad guitar cord, but I didn't have time to find a new one. And uh, so now let's switch over to iPhone and check out that new app I just downloaded from the iPhone. And we, uh, now I can't do a screen capture. I probably can on the iPhone, but I don't know how. So I'm just gonna show you the app and then um, take it from there. All right, so now I'm gonna show you the app on the iPhone, all right? So on the iPhone, I actually did get screen record enabled. I know nothing about iPhones anymore. I'm a Mac user exclusively, but I don't like iPhone OS since Jobs died, so I switched to Android. Anyhow, on the iPhone, though, let me, I, I regress. On the iPhone, if you go to App Store, and you're gonna look up uh, Pro Movie Recorder, and it's $2.99, and then uh, I already bought it and installed it. There's a free version too, but you don't want that. You have to pay the $2.99 to get the audio, uh, what you, to get the kind of audio you need. All right, so hit open. Now, again, the video settings, you'll have to look up tutorials on that about setting your ISO and that kind of stuff. There's tons of tutorials over there. One thing I will tell you, though, is um, if you're recording, go over here to 1080p, I mean, uh, your resolution, I don't know, it's still recording my screen, and you can hit uh, and just put the resolution on 1080p at 30 frames per second because you really don't want to do 60 and then just hit OK. All right, so screen record is not going to let me, so we're going to switch over to this camera. See if I can't do it this way. Get my finger off here. All right, so I don't know if you can see this or not. I'm gonna do it, but anyhow, basically all you wanna do is you wanna hit your little microphone right there, hit microphone, um, and then you can see right now it just says iPhone microphone. So what you gotta do is you gotta take your, um, now on my on this iPhone, this is an iPhone 6 Plus. It actually has a, a, a mic input right there, or a headphone input, you know, for regular, um, you know, earbuds for iPhone, right? Uh, you might have to have an adapter if you have an adapter, you plug your adapter in. But this one just has the uh, the microphone input or the headphone input. And so we're going to take our TRRS adapter. And uh, this is the adapter from TRRS to TRS. We're gonna take the TRRS and we're gonna plug it into there. And now when we plug it in, you can see what just appeared on the screen is headphone, um, head, headset microphone or iPhone microphone. We wanna click on headset microphone and then it'll take it to 76. I'd back that off a little ways and Maybe take it on like 65. You can test it when you go the, when you go to the next screen. All right, now up at the very top, I don't know if you can see that or not, but up at the very top you'll see a level. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna plug our mixer in. I'm gonna mute my guitar because we all know it buzzes, and we are going to take from the the main outs, plug our other cable in, our quarter inch to TRS, and then we're gonna plug it into our adapter. Now, I'm going to grab Alicia's microphone. Hey, 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 hey. Check. You can see the meter right here up top. I don't know if you can see that or not. Uh, yeah, it looks like you can see it. Okay, cool. And so you, don't, you definitely don't want that meter to be in the red. You want to, hey, see how I'm hitting the red? You want to keep that meter in the yellow. So we just go back over here. We're going to back that off a little more. Input. Hey, hey, hey. Check, check. All right, hey, still kind of in the red. It hits a little bit of red, it's all right, but you just want to back it off until you can get it out of the red. Hey, 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 check, one, two, hey, oh, hey, oh. That's still not quite enough. We still want it in the yellow. Just got to kind of play with that for a second. Hey, oh, right there, that's not bad. It's still, it's in the red a little bit, but it is still in the yellow. Hey, oh, all right. So there we go. Now we have our phone hooked up to an iPhone using that 299 app. So let's go over and put it in the camera mount. And then we will be hearing every rose has its thorn again. All right. So on this app, though, if you want to have the camera facing you, like you can see on here, I don't know if you can see on here or not, but uh, there's no flip. But you have to go over here and hit uh, the little settings icon and it brings this pull down up, and then you can actually flip it. So now it's going to be um, in selfie mode. So now it's in selfie mode, so it's looking back at my beautiful mug, all right? 
All right, we're recording, and I'm going to unmute the buzzing guitar and unmute. Bring it back over here. I'm going to unmute the buzzing guitar. I'm also going to unmute the effects. So you can hear reverb. Hey, 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 there's reverb. I'm back on the camera audio now. So this is the iPhone audio. And there is no speakers in this room, so if I take my earbuds out, I'm not hearing reverb. So I'm unmute my buzzing guitar. There we go, and the nice buzz back, all right. There's, here we go, everyone. Actually, hold on, let's do something different. Back to the 80s again. Jesse has a friend. Yeah, I know he's been a good friend of mine. Well, I feel so dirty when you start talking to you. I want to tell her that I love her, and the point is probably, I can't play that riff and do that at the same time. So we're gonna go back to it rose as it's thorn Just like every night has its dawn yeah. Every cowboy has had sad song Every rose has its thorn Yeah it does Or you know what? Here we go I know. Any metalheads back there? <laughs> Anyhow, all right, so now we're recording in the, in the iPhone with the 299 app, and let's go back out of there and I'll figure out what I'm gonna say next. Okay, so my particular iPhone, um, if your iPhone's different, uh, my camera on this side only lets me shoot in seven, seven, uh, and 720p so you can always I could always turn the camera around and not see myself But you guys probably have better iPhones and you would shoot in a better You don't really want to shoot in 720p you want to at least shoot in 1080p So if that's the case, I'd turn it around but 720p is fine It's actually if you look at our live stream videos. Those are all 720p. I hope that helped you out That's how you that's a, a third-party app for the Android and also the iPhone that you can get uh, audio from your mixing board any mixing board into your phone and have good sounding audio. So I know it's kind of a weird time right now. We're just kind of getting out of this whole, um, you know, stay at home type of venture. But, um, but we still need to make content and get it out there because it's probably gonna still take a little while before we're all totally in the clear and we can actually go back and do exactly what we wanna do. So in the meantime, just keep creating content, you know, get it out there, uh, you know, cause so you can get a, a cheap, if you don't have a mixture like this, you can get a cheap mixture like this. Just go on offer up and look up Behringer four channel mixer or small mixer, you know, there's a, I just looked on there, there's a Yamaha mixer in Vegas right now. That's like a six channel mixer that has, you know, all of them have stereo outs and all of them have, have uh, you know, XLR ends for your, um, for your uh, microphones and, uh, you know, the, the quarter inch ends for your, uh, for your guitars or whatever. So you can pick these up, these mixers up really cheap if you don't have one off offer up used and you know 50 bucks you know and then you got a 12 dollars adapter that plugs into your phone and you're good to go so just keep creating and anyhow if you have any questions if i i know i'm babble a lot you know just leave a comment in the description and alicia will get back to you and then she'll tell me and i'll answer it through alicia because she don't let me type because i spell everything wrong anyhow <laughs> but i hope that helps and please make sure you like comment subscribe share this video um, you know, check out some of our other videos on this channel. Uh, you know, we have a lot of fun doing different stuff, and since, especially since we've been in lockdown, we've been doing a b bunch of like hour and a half, two hour live streams. They're still over in uh, the live stream area on our channel. Check them out. They put a lot of work into them, and they're they're pretty fun. And also, I I'm amazing. At least she's she's all right, but I'm, I'm amazing. <laughs> Anyhow, so hope that helps. Uh, again, leave a comment, like, subscribe, share, and if you have any questions at all. Hit me up and I'll try to answer them as well as I can. All right? We will see you guys next time. From Television City in Las Vegas, it's fans of Jimmy Century's Fatal Original Variety Hour. Oh, right. 
Hey guys, it's Victor. And it's Alicia from Fans of Jimmy Century. Can you guys do us a mondo favor and go over and subscribe to our YouTube channel at youtube.com forward slash FOJC TV? We'll tell you why later. Later! later.